Join us this episode as we cycle through the Barossa and four-wheel drive around the Flinders Ranges. So we are just, um, well no, we have left um, Victor Harbour. It's been a few days down there, so now we are just driving up through Adelaide up towards the Barossa Valley. Um, you might notice our camera is even less shaky than usual. We've invested in a, a gimbal. So let's see if that makes much of a difference to the kind of moving videos. But yeah, so up to Barossa Valley uh, today and then tomorrow we're renting uh, cycle bikes and we're going to go on a few trips around to the wineries and Zeus is going to try out his new backpack. So let's see how, um, how he fancies it. So we are cycling around the uh, Barossa Valley. We've just called into the first place. It was um, Maggie's, Maggie's beer farm. It was really good. Um, and now we're going to go to Two Hands and do a handful of other views around the place. But yeah, it's pretty cool along here. So we got electric bikes as well, which we picked up from the information center in Tananda. Uh, but the electric bikes are 120, which is a little bit more expensive than we would have wanted to pay. It's 50 dollars for a normal bike, but definitely worth the electric bikes because I think we've already gone about 7Ks today and we've still got quite a bit more to cover. Yeah. <laughs> two in the uh, Barossa, um, feeling slightly out of place, maybe a bit too fancy for us. Um, but yeah, we just called into Jacob's Creek, just have a look at it, get some cool shots of it. It's really cool around here. Um, and next I think we're going to some, what's it called? Uh, Willaloo, we're going to the Flinders Ranges. No, so what's the little winery you want to look at today? Oh, it looks like a uh, French chateau. Chateau Tananda. Tananda, it looks really cool. It looks like a, an old French castle of some form. So I was going to go there next and um, look at a place there as well. <laughs> <laughs> It is 11 o'clock in the morning and he's had enough of our walking already. <laughs> You go, Jess. Do a bit of shouting. On our way to the Flinders Ranges, we popped into Willaloo uh, for a few days just to avoid the start of the Easter weekend traffic. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> what you reckon, Zeus? Come on. Come on. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> About three weeks ago, the sink stopped draining, which is not great. So what uh, we worked out had happened was definitely my fault. I put coffee greens down the sink and it blocked it up. So we haven't been able to use it. So what we've tried to do, we put some hot water down. It didn't work. They also advised not to do that because caramel pipes can, can contract and then they won't go back afterwards. But we got bicarb soda, which is just God's gift. Um, and we put some vinegar down there and then we pumped it like a plunger with the, the palm of our hand to sort of agitate it um, to get the water moving and then followed it with some warm water, not boiling water. Also for next time so we don't make the same mistake again, um, we bought um, these filters from um, Amazon. I think we actually got like, yeah, we got quite a few of them. Um, they're really good but obviously we did a smaller size and actually this is probably still too big. But. Um, very important information for people like me who didn't use the brain. <laughs> um, don't put chunks of food down the sink or coffee beans. Get a straight up. So we've just left uh, Willaloo um, and we are heading towards Hawker. Ronsey Park stations are actually staying, but Hawker's the main town before it and heading up to the Flinders Rangers. So I've seen a lot of videos for here and watched videos over the last few years of um, the landscape and stuff in Flinders and how cool it is. So it's, it's good to be able to go there. Um, watched some videos last night about Ronsey Park Station as well. So yeah, it looks quite, quite cool. Looking forward to our, our next stop. So we are in Ronsey Park Station and uh, we just landed in last night just in the base of the Flinders Range. Uh, we booked in for two nights and probably already think we probably didn't book in for long enough. Uh, there's loads to do here and there's loads to see so we kind of have a few, well, a busy day today and tomorrow. Um, so today we're just going to do some of the four drive tracks around the Ronsey Park Station itself and then we are going up to Balaman, up to um, uh, Indigenous Cafe. Uh, so that would be good and then we're heading off to... I think there's, a, we want to see if we've got enough time, there's a Prairie Hotel um, which is apparently like very famous and they also apparently famous worldwide for um, this like meat platter that they have I think yeah. which is like sheep and kangaroo and emu, I don't think I'll be having no, yeah, that. E emu, camel, sheep, Yeah. emu, camel, sheep, kangaroo. Yeah, else, or yeah, something else. So I think, but they've got like an Easter lunch on today that you can book in and, and just like a long table of lots of food. So we're gonna try and get up there and get some food, but um, the uh, we don't have the flyer for it and I can't remember the name, I'll put it here. Um, but they have like some really good um, food on today as well, including a re uh, roux and beef burger. So we're probably gonna give that a go. Yeah, we'll try you up there. to our, um, our rock tower. It's half as long the first track and that Ronzi track. But they're getting smaller, but I think I want to go bigger. Beautiful. Yeah. This way he doesn't have his own um, window in the back.
we've just stopped in at the um, Prairie Hotel. We've been told this is the best place to go in the Flinders Ranges. Um, you have to must see your place. Um, I'll show you the view in a second, but we basically, once we get out of the ranges, maybe drove through about 10k. It's just barren land and then just the ranges in the background. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll show you how bad this the flies are really bad. <laughs> They're worse on fall. There's like 40 around his head. <sighs> He <laughs> showers regularly. You wouldn't think of <laughs> 9,000 flies around me. Thank you for watching Irish Turn Oz. And don't forget to like and subscribe.